Your butt can't suck. Straws can. I'd like to Straws see your- Straws don't suck. Straws, you suck through them. Your you butt can, doesn't you, you suck things suck, up. You could yeah. suck through a butt. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Try Guys Game Time. Debates, two sides in opposition. One right, one also right. Next up, we are debating Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans. Oh, oh yeah. Today we'll be debating with a twist. No, 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 no. The guys will be receiving topics that they may or may not believe in. And it's up to them to debate their damnedest. Oh, whoa, no, a little far. Hey, I have serious issues with the way you've been judging. <laughs> oh boy, sounds like fun. The track is debate time. I went back in time and I became your father. So who's your daddy? <laughs> One thing I know about debates is anytime someone's criticizing you, you're supposed to smile and write things down because it makes them look stupid. I currently like to argue with uh, cell phone companies, cable companies, pretty much anybody on the other end of a phone who I disagree with. I don't have a debate history, but I'm a very opinionated man and I look forward to pretending I'm right with whatever I argue today. I thought you were gonna make a master debater joke. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, you can do it. No, no, you do it. No, no, no. Eugene, it's on brand for that. that's your joke. I don't want to take it joke. from you. The record exactly. shows you Eugene once is, is that. No, I'm conceding the joke. Though. Feel like Eugene, that's it. Eugene's joke. He's so humble. That's what makes him the master debater. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Mr. Kornfeld. Mr. Habsberger. Uh, today, we will be debating Game of Thrones <laughs> versus <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Oh yeah. No boobies in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> They're f***ed because Keith hates Game of Thrones. And we both watch both of these. Now I know you haven't seen Game of Thrones, but here's just a bunch of Game of Thrones words. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, Lannister, Stark, Greyjoy, uh, 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 Dorn. Lannister, Stark, Greyjoy, Dorn. Some of the best names in cinematic history. <laughs> Television. This, it's so cinematic, it's not television, it's HBO. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King is the most winningest movie in Oscar history. What did the final season of Game of Thrones do? Stunk up the place. What happens in Lord of the Rings when you die? You don't. You just get on a ship and sail away. Where are the stakes? A character named Ned literally dies in the first season. Spoiler alert. The Lord of the Rings, New Zealand, didn't exist before. <laughs> I think we can all agree that incest is bad. There are at least a few people who think incest is good. <laughs> now I'm not one of them. I really just wrote incest bad three times. The line, toss me. Delivered literally and not figuratively in the first time in cinematic history. That's a good point. Also, you got a chair made of swords. Now that's f***ing dope, huh? And impractical. For people with back problems like me, it's cold and it hurts to sit on. But you would never survive in Middle Ages, Zach. Neither would I. We uh -huh. can't see without glasses. In Lord of the Rings, I could. I would be a hobbit and I'd be the hero. They have humans in Lord of the Rings. You'd be a human. No, I'd be a <laughs> hobbit and I would eat breakfasts all day. You can't. Your stomach would never allow it. In fantasy, I can! In conclusion, <laughs> you get boobies in the first episode. Listen, I know and you know that Keith doesn't know a damn thing about Game of Thrones. I'm going Eugene and Zach. Yeah. Oh, so wait. Yeah. Oh, so what is Caitlin? I'm going Dad and Keith. Still can make a strong argument. He was still able to make some funny jokes even without any knowledge. Keith and Ned. Yeah! Hey there, me again. In between these rounds, we'll be doing a lightning round. In which random topics are pitted against each other. Say, for example, Barbara Streisand versus the Rotator Cup. Sounds like a hoop. Let's watch. Speedo bathing suit versus thunderstorm. I think we'd all like to picture Eugene in a Speedo bathing suit. When there's drought, you want a thunderstorm to get you real wet. We go with the Speedo. Woo! 
thank you for letting me use you to win. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> now we will be debating Hannah Montana versus Miley Cyrus. What are Miley Cyrus favorite? songs? Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, Party in USA. Yeah. We can't stop. What's a Hannah Montana song? Exactly. Today I'll be arguing for one of the greatest pop stars of all time, Miley, middle name Cyrus. Hannah Montana is blonde and that's huge. Uh, people love blondes <laughs> and brunettes, fine. Blondes, hello. Thank you, Keith, for that thrilling display of mediocrity. No, Keith, I agree with you that blondes might be better at being Fake characters on a TV show. His wife is blonde. <laughs> Hannah Montana gives us nostalgia, which is basically drugs for millennials. But Miley Cyrus does real drugs, which is drugs also for millennials. Ned and I, we can't stop arguing for Miley, and we won't stop, because you, can't you see it's we who run the night? Can't you see it's we who bout that life? She is the reason we have the song Best of Both Worlds, which was included in almost every single one of our live shows. I think Hannah Montana is why the Try Guys are so popular. Can you name me one Hannah Montana song that isn't Best of Both Worlds? No, but I can also not name very many Miley Cyrus songs. One of my biggest points, wigs are fun. The Hemsworths. A beautiful clan of brothers. I trust their opinion. He married Miley multiple times. But then they divorced, didn't they divorce in Melbourne? Yeah, they, she went off and now she's with Cody Simpson. Is she still with Cody Simpson? Who knows? In conclusion, Miley Cyrus popularized twerking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. In conclusion, Hannah Montana never appropriated anyone else's cultures and did not invent twerking. <laughs> I'm Team Miley. It's Ned and Zach. Yes! I gotta give it to Hannah. Eugene and Keith. Ooh, yes! Oh my god. Great job. Damn. Best of both worlds, baby. Team Hannah. <gasps> wow, the wigs. You the did, wig. He did I say did that it. was his best argument. I did it. We have tuxedos versus Billie Eilish. You can't wear Billie Eilish for a fancy night on the town with the missus. <laughs> Billie Eilish could wear a tuxedo, but a tuxedo could never sing Ocean Eyes. We're going Billie Eilish. Woo! Nice. I also like Billie Eilish. Shout out to Billie Eilish. Shout out to Billie. Thanks for watching our videos. Today I will be arguing for the ability to read minds. And I shall be arguing for the ability to time travel. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that time travel is better than reading minds. Goddamn right we are, because well, it's the obvious argument and everyone already agrees. I'm here to tell you that's not the case. Because if I could read your minds, I would actually know I'm doing a bit because I'm uncomfortable being my real self. <laughs> Whoa, Ned, a little I'm, far. Tr I'm trying to interrupt him so that I get him off his flow because I don't know how to make this argument work. I'm the fucking greatest teammate of all time. <laughs> wow, this is great. I love this. Time travel. <laughs> Reading is cool, but travel is cooler. Let's look about the movies. You got Back to the Future, the greatest trilogy ever made. You got Looper, Avengers Endgame, about time. Season five of Lost, maybe the best season. You got Hot Tub Time Machine one and two. One of the worst things that can happen in time travel is you accidentally f your mom. That's never happened, we have no proof. She wanted it, but it didn't happen. You might also then be the cause of your mom's almost sexual assault. Which one do you want to go with, Zach? What movies do you got with mind reading? What wow. women want. Starring Mel Gibson, who is anti-Semitic and misogynist. You can go back in time and kill Adolf Hitler. We're killing Hitler! That was for you. What if you never even existed because you somehow squished the butterfly that ruins the spider web that then makes your parents not f In conclusion, even though this is a bit because I'm uncomfortable with myself. 
I went back in time and I became your father. So who's your daddy? <laughs> I was gonna say I f***ed your mom, but I didn't wanna. Team mind reading. Yeah! yeah. All right! Team time travel. Yay! Team time travel. Yay! Yay. Today's argument is Britney Spears versus Spaghetti and Meatballs. Britney Spears was someone we grew up with, just like Spaghetti and Meatballs. However, she constantly delights and is always changing her flavor, unlike Spaghetti and Meatballs. A vote against Spaghetti and Meatballs is a vote against putting balls in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> balls to the walls, baby. It's Ned. Yes. Good job. Next up, we are debating Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans. This is hard for me. Chris Hemsworth is so hot. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth. He's Thor, the god of thunder. Who doesn't love God? Chris Evans, AKA Captain America, AKA America's ass. <sighs> Thank you for that thrilling display of mediocrity, Zach. Chris Evans is so bland, I can't even tell the difference between him and Chris Pine. Thor was a god. A god who couldn't protect his own home, Asgard. It was ripped to shreds in one of the movies. What kind of god can protect their own kingdom? What kind of god can keep the door to their own place closed? Chris Evans wishes he was living in the 40s. Do any of you wish that you were living in the 40s? Only so that I could punch Hitler in the face, which Captain America did on the cover of his first comic. Chris Hemsworth looks really good with long hair. 1% of men can do that. Chris Evans has beautiful eyes. Thor only has one. What? He lost That's, an eye. He lost an eye in the movie. Are, were you even paying attention, Ned? You also brought us Fat Thor in Avengers Endgame which some people found offensive. But most people found delightful. So what did Chris, what did Chris Evans do? Oh, I'm so sad. Boom, Avengers assemble, whatever. It's like some like key line of the movie. Sure, Thor's got the hammer, but you know who else could lift that thing? My boy, Chris Evans. He could, he could carry the shield and the hammer. You're looking at me like I'm crazy? Did you see the movie, Ned? It was a moment that brought down the house. He goes, he calls the hammer, it's like, whoosh, it's awesome. I mean, it's so dope. Chris Evans, sure, he has a nice butt. Guess what? I have a nice butt. So if you vote for Chris Evans, you're voting for me. And if you vote for me, you're voting for Chris Hemsworth. So. And when Chris Evans grew so big in Captain America, his heart grew three sizes that day. You saw what that machine did to his muscles. What do you think it did to his dick? Oh yeah, his dick's probably crazy, right? America's ass, whew. wait till you see America's boner. I rest my case. Keith and Zach. Oh, wow, oh, that means so much. America wins. America. I'm also, I'm also Team Chris Evans. Today, I will be arguing for a straw has one hole. I'll be arguing for the fact that a straw has two holes. Well, let's just get started here, guys. I don't need to take any notes, because it's simple. Look, if you look at a straw, a straw has one hole. Are you getting like two streams of liquid when you drink milk out of a straw? No. You know, the human digestive system is kind of like a really long straw. And I would say that my mouth is the beginning of that straw, and my butthole is the end of that straw. And I would say that my mouth and my butthole are two different holes. Therefore, a straw clearly has two holes. My strongest case is that of my butthole. I rest it. <laughs> a straw has one hole because you make one hole. Holes can have depth. If you dig a hole in the backyard, it doesn't matter how deep it is, that's one hole. Your butt can't suck. Straws can. I'd like to straws see Straws your... don't suck. Straws, you suck through them. Your you butt could, doesn't you, you suck things suck, up. You could yeah. suck through a butt. Straws are butts. My <laughs> opponent said, butts can't suck things up. May I present douches. And boofing. May I present butt plugs. May I present anal beads. Butts, in fact, suck up a lot 
if you're open-minded. But the, do they ever suck all the way out of your mouth? Therefore, it's ridiculous to compare a butt to a straw. When you're putting in a butt plug, you're not calling it also your mouth plug. Therefore, they're separate entities. Have you had a plug in your butt? Therefore, you cannot argue. <laughs> Sex, two holes, are more fun than one. Ah, that's a good argument. You wanna have sex with a straw? Wait a second though, Straws. are you saying two, two holes in sex, not four holes as Keith would say? Wait, which side am I on? As long as it's not <laughs> one hole. More holes are always better. This is the human digestive system. <laughs> and it looks a lot like a crazy straw to me. And a crazy straw is a straw. And I can see the mouth hole and I can see the, the butt hole right down there. So That's right. I think that, I think this obviously is the case. Double. Keith, if you put your mouth in a glass of milk and I suck your ass milk from your mouth, then I would believe you. Until that day, you're being completely ridiculous comparing the human digestive tract to a straw, which you clearly suck one hole out of and you get the milk. Uh, you can suck it out of the pee hole. You are out of line, counselor. You can't suck it out, you can't get the mouth saliva from your pee hole. Yeah, it just waits like six hours. Zach and Ned. Woo! Keith and Eugene. <sighs> Two holes. Yay! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Straws, not sex. <laughs> well, well, the butthole and the mouth hole is pretty Exhibit similar. <laughs> Shots of fireball versus boxer briefs. Do you want to get nasty and have fire down your belly? Shots of fireball are not only alcoholic, but you can light them on actual fire. Boxer briefs. Sometimes you don't want to see all that. <laughs> okay. Best of both worlds, boxer briefs. I, I have serious issues with the way you've been judging. <laughs> I like that. Sometimes you don't want to see all that. With the way you've been arguing. Oh. oh. Next up, we are doing Popping Pimples is Pleasurable. Popping Pimples is Disgusting. Popping Pimples is Pleasurable. Sometimes a little bit of pain releases endorphins. Endorphins are the things that make you happy. Pimples, when you pop them, they scar your face and then you'll be Scarface. And he murdered people. Murder is bad. That's right. That's a good argument. That's right. Do you like bubble wrap? <laughs> Do you like the old gummy snack called Gushers? Perfect combination of two childhood delights. You put your thumbs together, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Puss. Squish. You didn't say that your, your catchphrase. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Thrilling display of mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper has taken the internet by storm. Numbers don't lie. And Dr. Pimple Popper's numbers are better than ours. Do you think the Try Guys are pleasurable? Then you have to say that Dr. Pimple Popper is also pleasurable. Sure, sure. You can say Dr. Pimple Popper gets better numbers than us, but you know what? All of those views are demonetized. Yeah. <sighs> Little white snakes crawling out of little beige skin hills. <laughs> oh, God. Tiny volcanoes of goo and blood. <laughs> Sometimes the squeeze emits the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one to kink shame. You can get your kinks wherever you want them. I get off on the word pus. <laughs> Excuse me? So Is there a problem? I'm sorry, it's just Is so pleasurable. <laughs> In conclusion, pimple pus, pimple juice, that juice ain't worth the squeeze. Zach and Keith. <laughs> Eugene and Ned. <sighs> this was really gross, but Zach and Keith. Yes! Woo! Let's pop some pimples! <laughs> Well, that's gonna do it. Hope you've enjoyed Try Guys Game Time. Hope you've learned something about the guys, maybe yourself. I haven't learned anything, but I've had fun and that's all that counts. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that was a long wave. <laughs> If you're the kind of person who subscribes to things, maybe subscribe to the Try Guys or my new channel. It's pretty good. It's called Watcher. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, hope you've had fun here. See you later, f***ing Try Guys game time. <laughs> <laughs>